Hello and welcome into the Lone Star Varsity Preview Show. I'm Mike Graham. And I'm Brian Navarrete and we're with the Lone Star Varsity High School Sports Staff. This show, which is from Borden County today, is brought to you from, by the University Medical Center and powered by AJ Media. And Brian, like we said, we're, we're in the Borden County locker room. We've just completed our interviews uh, with the Coyotes before they head off to the state championship game, which we played at the Dallas Cowboys AT&T Stadium at 11 a.m on Wednesday and we got, I think we picked up some pretty good stuff here. I think so. I think the biggest thing that I picked up on is how tight knit this group is and uh, how special this is for them this year. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, this, is a, this is a team going for its second consecutive state championship. It's fifth all time and no matter what happens, it's going to be its seventh appearance. So uh, we're, we're in the home of some pretty good football right now. Yeah, and last year they won it. You know, they, it's kind of set up the same scene as it was last year. They've kind of traveled the same path as they did last year. Now they got Jonesboro again. Yeah, down to a T. It's it's Jonesboro in the championship game. And uh, talking to these coaches, there are a couple of things uh, that concerns them about Jonesboro. Even though they were able to mercy rule them last year, what would be the number one thing you think that they're concerned about defending in this game? It sounded like they got some size that they got some big uh, running backs. So I guess slowing that down and uh, form tackling and just making sure you're not giving them a second chance at getting loose. That might be, I think, the biggest thing that I've taken away. That's what I think so too. I, I think that uh, Jonesboro has some physical backs. They came out of the East and the, the East has a lot of a lot of great athletes. Um, you know, you think about Gilmer Union Hill, you think about who they played in the semifinal round. Uh, Tioga is always a good program. Uh, not, to, not to take anything away from West Texas athletes because this is a, the highest concentration of of six-man football uh, and therefore probably the best kind of like um, you know the the bias towards Metroplex teams in 11-man football but teams like Jonesboro and, and that's how the state they definitely have some unique athletes. Definitely uh, you know I'm pretty sure they scouted them out pretty closely uh, from what I can see from some of the film that I got to see they are big but on the other end uh, Borden County's got some big kids in their own. Yeah absolutely who do you think are some of the key players in this game for, for Borden County that need to step up and uh, who, who has impressed you most from this team through the through their first 14 games? Uh, Trace Ritchie, Nick Prohl, uh, they got a big body in Ben Justice. Uh, those three are, I believe, some of the ones who got some playing times last year. Well, more so Ritchie and, uh, and Ben Justice, but Nick Prohl this last weekend was really impressive. Um, he's elusive. He's uh, not the biggest back, but he's elusive and he's fast and he's hard to chase down as soon as he gets in open space. And Trace Ritchie is just your all-around guy. Defensively, offensively, he brings a lot to the table. And uh, I think those are the two big ones, as well as you know a whole bunch of other players that have stepped up in a team that graduated eight seniors, I believe, last year. So uh, I think those are some of the key uh, players for the Coyotes. Yeah, we picked up some, some very nice tidbits on this team that'll be showing up in the Lubbock Avalanche Journal and on LoneStarVarsity.com in the days leading up to the state championship. Really excited about that. I learned a lot today. Um, and before we head out, uh, we'll just continue on doing what we've been doing. Let's pick the 1A Division I state championship game. The long list of pick'ems this week. Right. Borden County is the last surviving team in, in the South Plains coverage zone. I'm going to stick with the Coyotes. Uh, Borden County, I was impressed with their game with Happy. It was their first full-length game, but they still came away with a big win. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if you can pick against uh, Borden County in, the, in their locker room, uh, <laughs> but I don't see any reason to, to not pick Borden County. You know, they won the state championship last year. Uh, they, they brought back a, a unique team. I mean, this is not the same football team as last year, but uh, they certainly have talent. They mercy ruled Jonesboro last year. You know Jonesboro is going to be angry about that and, and trying to prove it. But this is a program with a lot of tradition, and uh, I expect that to win the day. Definitely. Uh, they're going to be, be looking for some revenge, but I think Borden County is just as good as it was last year, if not better. You know, a lot of coaches are complimentary of how studious this team is and how bought in they are on everything. So... I think it's going to be a good game, but once again, Borden County, tough team to beat. And once again, the state championship game will be played at 11 a.m. Wednesday, December 20th in, uh, at AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. So really excited to get out there. Uh, we'll, we'll have a gamer. Uh, we'll have a column from, from the state championship game on LoneStarVarsity.com. And like we said, a uh, really cool feature story and a game preview ahead of that game. So can't wait to get with you very soon. Uh, we'll do some video from the Cowboys Stadium. We'll see you next time. And once again, this show is brought to you by the University Medical Center and powered by AJ Media.